portmanteau. I hope I said that right. Hollowstone, 1972. Tell me, why are you traveling out here alone? Oh, um, I'm a stewardess, so occasionally my company will put me up somewhere before a long flight, and uh, tomorrow I'm off to Rome. Oh, very nice. Uh, this area kind of gives me the chills. <laughs> yeah, me too. This is actually my first time in Hollowstown. I've done like a little research about its like unique history, but I'm glad to finally be staying overnight. Yeah, uh, Zunik is a uh, one way to put it. I guess that means you're not a native either. Yeah. I tell you, uh, no, I'm not, but I moved here when I was very young. A fire uh, outbreak destroyed most of my city back home. Thousands upon thousands of wounded soldiers died that year in a therapy institute owned by my father because of it. Hmm. It was horrific. My father had to move us somewhere safe and. Uh, Hollowstone was the only place that would take us in. But this land is different. It's plagued and uh, tragedy seems to stick to it like gum on a shoe. How so? Over the years, a lot of bad things have happened and uh, they do not just go away with time. And I don't mean to scare you. You are staying alone tonight. Oh, no, you, you won't scare me. I don't really believe in the speculations. When you've quite literally traveled the world like I have, you just come to realize that they're just all beautiful places. It's a very good way to put it. Love that car though. Wow. Nice shot. Like it. It's, uh, no. Dude, looking like the black phone guy, man. He's a hawk from behind. <laughs> the grabber. Is that the? Yeah, that was the grabber. You know something about that suitcase? JJQ? Here you go. Right. Oh. Thank you. Yes, of course. Uh, have a good stay. Yeah, goodbye. I guess he was in a hurry to get out of there. Love the old fashioned camera. Oh, selfie, 1972 style.
interesting. Hello. Whatever you do, do not put that on. Okay. Pretty, very pretty. A mirror. Oh, I get it. You took the okay. No, don't do it. Oh. It was covered for a reason. The lady in the picture is in the mirror. She's trying to get out, but they oh, yep. Yeah, yeah. Curtain's moving. Is moving. Oh, I didn't even know. Oh, back in the old times. and take off that dress. as an actress, whoever she is, she's really good. Why 
did you open it back up? Some end credits. I like this. Very nice. Ooh, always fun. Always fun. So that was the short horror film Port Mantau from Buried Hatchet Productions. I hope I'm saying the title right. If I'm not, then I apologize. This is really good. It's 12 minutes, 11 seconds, and we have dialogue. We usually don't have dialogue that much in a Barry Hatchet production short horror film, but I liked it. We got a little bit of small history about it, whatever it was with this box and the mirror and the dress. I mean, the visuals are great. The visual effects are getting much, much better, and you can see that. Love the two-way look of the mirror. She's holding it, and then she's moving around. Behind her is different, but the setting where she's at in real life is very much so, like, I, fantastic. And also, the composing, the music, adds such a nice touch. I always say, personally, music adds so much more to a short horror film, or a horror film for that matter. And this is not one of those, like, big up-tempo, scare you uh, scenes that they have in this. It's more so of for the story, and it's really good. Hollow Stone. I feel like Buried Hatchet Productions is creating their own universe of short horror films, and it's really great to see. The writing is great, the producing is great, and even the lighting effect. I mean, it's simple. I just feel bad for the character of the woman. She gets there, she's supposed to rest because she's a stewardess, but then all hell breaks loose within what, 10 15 minutes? Like, absolutely insane and crazy. And this is so much fun and like i said the production value and how you look at it and see it is getting much better i'm excited for what's to come for buried hatchet productions and i can't wait frank and vincent dormani you guys are killing it absolutely amazing and this is going to be an interesting time to see what you come up with next and your short horror films are getting longer which is really, really good. And kudos to the actress who played the stewardess. Like, wow. Like, I want to see more of her in more Buried Hatchet Productions, short horror films, and other more interesting characters, and more dialogue, because the dialogue factor adds so much to the short horror film story and more of anything for that matter. Let me know what you thought about this short horror film from Buried Hatcher Productions, titled Port Mantau. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you think of it? What did you think about the story, the aspect, the setting, and everything that happened? And what do you think Buried Hatcher Productions will come up with next? Let me know in the comment section below about all the questions I just asked. And tell your actors, actresses, filmmaker friends to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell for new videos on my channel. I'll see you all in the next short horror film reaction video. And thank you for tuning in. Ah!